Hi, I'm Dirk. And when I decided to make videos like this one again, I just took lots of parts from the equipment which I purchased about 10 years ago for this purpose. And, I must say, it still works these days, but it shows its age. And therefore, I tried to invest a bit and ordered some items which arrived today here in this packet. And this packet should contain a wireless microphone set and some other stuff. And I'd say, let's have a look at it. Okay, my dear English viewers. You see here the packet that I just showed you and you see it is already open. This is because I could only open it once and I already did this in the German version. And here you have the contents. And we have, as main part of course, the wireless go to from Rode uh, as a wireless microphone system. Then we have a lavalier microphone which can be connected to one of these uh, wireless senders. I also bought a cable. And finally, you have some nice cable holders because you never can have enough of them. Let's see what these things actually contain. Okay, my dear English viewers, once again, you are the ones who see this package when it is already opened, because I opened it in the German version of this video, and you see it was not that easy to open this box, because it was quite well packaged, but anyway, it's open, and I can show you what was in it. In this wireless go to box are three devices, it's one receiver for the audio data, and two senders, then you have three of these sound caps so when you are when you are filming outside so that you don't have too much wind noise it's one more because uh, it's always good to have a spare unit then you have a short cable to, to connect the receiver to the camera and you have not one and not two but actually three charging cables for these three devices this all is finalized with a nice little bag which is also there where you can put everything in when you transport it and now let's take all this at the side for a moment and see what the other box contained and that was this box and in that one was the lavalier microphone and um, that's actually this one here, which can be put at your clothes so that you can talk only with this small microphone here on screen. And you have this small clamp and you have this nice bag for that one too. The idea for this lavalier microphone is that you take one of the, of the wireless senders of the uh, Rode Wireless Go system and then you plug the a microphone just into the transmitter and then you can put the transmitter somewhere and only have the microphone then near your face. And now let's see how this all works together. Okay, now let's have a better look at the Rode devices themselves. I have here the receiver and here the two senders and to switch them on there is one button which you just have to press for three seconds and then the receiver turns on, you see it here and it already knows that it has two senders and waits for them and the senders also have the same buttons so you just press the buttons you see that there is already some sound which is not that surprising because I'm sitting right next to the devices and talking to my microphone. I could now switch and plug the Rode Wireless Go 2 into my camera, but I thought I'd do it a bit differently and uh, to show you how this all works together I take um, that cable is just from a 3.5 millimeters plug into Thinch and 3.5 millimeters plug is what you have in your camera and Thinch is what I happen to have in my mixer and here you have this cable with the two Thinch plugs which I just plug in here into channel 9 and 10 of the device and then I take the cable which comes with the wireless Go I plug in the receiver um, here is the plug, and there it goes. And then the device should work. And um, now when I take the microphones and turn them on, then I talk via the microphones. And now you see that I took both of them because if I only take one, then you hear the sound only comes from one side uh, or from the other. And that's a feature of this system because it allows you to take both the channels separately so that you can mix them in post-production. If you don't want that, 
then and moment I have to turn my other microphone on again because I need both hands and if you, you can press the two buttons at the bottom side of the Rode for three seconds and then you see that the display changes now you have only one indicator of of the sound and now also only one of the microphones of the Rode system goes into both channels so that you do not have any hassle with the audio and post-production even though of course you only have a mono signal for both channels. One thing is that the sound is rather disturbed in the moment um, and you have these plopping sounds etc and that can also be solved. These windshields have a plugging mechanism which can be rotated a bit and then they fit and uh, cannot fall off. And now I when I talk into the Rode microphone, you hear that the sound is much better than it used to be without the windshield. Now let's see how the system behaves when it is plugged into the camera itself. Connecting the Rode Wireless Go 2 to the camera actually is easy. You just take the cable that comes with the receiver, plug it in, and then you take the camera, in this case it's a Canon ATD, and you can use the flash connector to put the receiver on the camera and then you only have to take the microphone plug of the camera which is here and take the cable and plug it in. If you let the cable go this way you can even continue to move the display freely without any problems. Yes and that's all. Now you have your camera equipped and you are ready to go. And this is what it looks like and especially what it sounds when you use the Rode Wireless Go 2 to record the sound of your video. I've attached the sender here and my voice is transmitted wirelessly to the receiver which is connected to the camera. Okay, so now I want to show you three more functions on the receiver of the device which you can access via the buttons. And the first one is the button on the bottom left and that one controls the pre-amplification of the receiver. This is now set to null decibel and can be reduced to minus 24 decibel or to minus 12 decibel by pressing that button shortly. This can be useful if the signal is too loud and would become distorted in this setting, but as this is not the case here, we can just leave it with this null decibel setting. The second button on the bottom right allows to select one of the input channels. You see that a frame appears around it and if you have selected it, you can use the button on the left to turn the sound off, either on one of the channels or on both. And that you can hear me now is due to the fact that I have attached a third microphone to my setup because I saw this coming. So now I will turn off on the devices again and for the third option, to show you, I need the watch because you have the on-off switch here and the brightness control here. And if I press the on-off switch once, shortly, then the brightness control changes. And now, after 10 seconds of inactivity, the display will be turned off. This is, of course, sensible in dark environments, but it also prevents any occasional setting changes um, because now the buttons are more or less locked and pressing any button only turns on the display again and nothing else changes. For the time being, I will turn on the display completely because I want to show you something more. The thing is that the Rode Wireless Go 2 can be integrated easily even in more complex sound setups. Let's take for example this cable. It has this 3.5 mm stereo plug and connects it to these two 6.3 mm mono plugs. And when I now take the Rode 2 transceiver and plug it into this cable, you might already get an idea where this all leads to, because now I take the mixing console again and I can use this cable to connect the two audio channels of the Rode system into two separate channels of my mixer. And when I switch now, to the Rode, Rode audio channel, you see that I can adjust all the settings of the audio independently of everything else. I can plug it to the left or pan it to the right and I can even change the amplification characteristics. 
and that makes the system very easy and versatile to use even in those more complex setups. Okay, one final item is still missing at the moment and it is the clip-on microphone which I also purchased. And this clip-on microphone I put here onto the clothes somehow like this and then for you to demonstrate I put the headphones on and took my mixing console um, because now you just take one of the wireless go senders and you plug in the clip on microphone and now I can just switch channels here on the mixing console and now the sound comes from the clip on microphone and we hear this is also good sound and so Indeed, my possibilities to record sound for my videos have increased considerably with this new equipment. Let's sum things up. So far, for the sound of my videos, I needed this mixing console with power adapter, a cable to the camera and a microphone with another cable. Now it's only the small receiver with a short cable and a sender with windshield. Additionally, the charging cables and potentially the clip on microphone. Or to put it otherwise, so far I needed this large bag and the mixing console as add-on because it didn't fit in. And now it's only this small bag with everything and the clip-on microphone. And now it's your turn. Do you have any questions or comments? Please send them to me for example here in the comments. So hear you in the next video and thanks for watching. when you use the Rode Wireless Go 2 to connect, to record, to do stuff.